Greetings from sunny Africa. Um, over here we have a magic quarry. Really interesting uh, bush. And some of the uses for this, the one thing is uh, that you know if we have a fire coming, especially in this heat and we want to protect a building, it's quite a useful tree to actually break off. You don't want to break it off right at the root zone because then it can't regrow. But they're designed so that we can have you know, elephants will do the same and the tree will still grow. So here I have this nice beating branch. If you notice, it actually is very effective. It doesn't lose much in the way of leaves. There's a little bit, but not much. And so this is a very effective fire beater if you're out in the bush. But a lot of other uses. One of the ones is uh, what's interesting about this tree. We call it a magic quarry. Why is it a magic quarry? Well, its scientific name is actually Euclear Divinorum. So it divines. So what I can do, I'm gonna break off this little branch over here and break off another one. This is not ideal because they should be the same size and I can hold it like this. And now, of course, you can see this is a divining rod. So I can divine not just for water, which is what most people think, but actually, if you go to a spiritual herbalist in Africa, it's called a Sangoma in South Africa, a uh, herbalist is more of an Enyanga, but uh, Sangoma will often have a piece of this wood. And when they throw the bones, the bones have got a piece of this divinorum in them because they're divining the spirits in the spirit world. So it's not just about divining for the water, but it's also divining for spirits so that the spirit can actually speak to people because people in Africa are very spiritual. The other use, of course, that you've probably seen many, many times is that people can use it as a toothbrush. And what most people do, a lot of guides, it's quite, it's probably quite cliched by now. You take this, you can cut it with a knife. Of course, you can chew it, but it's full of tannin. And if you chew it long enough, it'll get a nice frayed end, but something better than that. So I'm gonna take this big stem now. It's gonna be quite difficult, but I'll take my leather man out take my leather man, bigger stem, I start crushing up the end, simulating my tooth, breaking it, crush it a bit more, and a bit more, and a bit more, and eventually I'm going to get this quite frayed end, which looks a little bit like that. So I'll put against the stem of the tree, or better still against the background of my hat. You'll see it frays a bit, and it's actually quite an effective paintbrush. So I can break this off, I can take some egg white, some ochre, and I can paint, and of course, Khoi San, or Bushman rock art, sometimes called. The sand people could have used this as a paintbrush. And in fact, that's quite a nice thing for it to be used for. Um, a lot of animals actually don't like eating it, because like your normal Sri Lankan tea, it's full, full of tannin. So if I taste this now, I can already feel the inside of my gums going, mmm, this is going to be interesting, but here we go. Mmm, yeah, mmm, very difficult to capture, but it's nice and bitter. I can already, I can feel the coating over my tongue, and that of course stops animals, especially ruminants, from eating this, because it blocks the bacteria, and it will eventually kill the animal. Uh, they'll die of starvation with a full stomach, which sounds really strange, but that's what happens. Magic quarry, wonderful, it's a great tree.